Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the Halloween season and all these spooky items now available in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So the latest fall update just went live this morning and once installed adds a whole bunch of new content to New Horizons gearing us up for the Halloween season. Starting from today all new pumpkin crafting materials are finally available to farm and harvest. You can buy pumpkin seeds from Leaf's pop-up garden shop as of today if he's visiting because they're available from him all year round but they'll also be for sale at Nook's Cranny from tomorrow for the duration of October. Now before we get into the Halloween event, all the spooky DIY recipes and how to find them, there's a few things to note about pumpkin farming first, which you'll need to craft the spooky recipes. Of course to start growing pumpkins you need to plant the pumpkin starts. There are 4 pumpkin colours in total and the colour is chosen randomly. They include orange which is the most common, yellow and white which are uncommon and finally green pumpkins which are rare and hardly spawn. There's no limit to how many pumpkins you can farm though, but they do take 4 days to grow from sprout, to stem, to bud, to pumpkin. Now although you don't need to water the pumpkins for them to grow, it turns out the more you water them, the more pumpkins the plant will produce in its final stage. If you don't water them, the plant will produce 1 pumpkin. If you water them once per day, the plant will produce 2 pumpkins. And finally, if you water them twice per day or more, the plant will produce 3 pumpkins, which is really awesome and definitely feels more like a farming mechanic than we first thought. Now, the growing cycle of pumpkins is 4 days, but when you harvest a pumpkin, the plant reverts back to the second stage, leaving 2 more days until it produces the next batch of pumpkins, which of course depends on how much you water them. The good news is fully grown pumpkins can be replanted as a separate plant, which is super handy but it's worth mentioning that whatever pumpkin colour you plant will be the colour of the pumpkin that grows. So if you're searching for the rare green pumpkins, plant the first one you find to guarantee even more green pumpkins if that makes sense. Now any pumpkins that have been harvested can of course be used to craft the latest Halloween themed spooky furniture items. Some of the spooky items include the spooky arch, the spooky candy set, the spooky carriage which is quite impressive, the spooky chair and fence which already seems super popular, the spooky garland, the spooky lantern and lantern set which also features a cool little hay bale, the spooky scarecrow, the spooky standing lamp, the spooky table and table setting, the spooky tower and finally the spooky wand. Of course there are also the corresponding interiors including the spooky rug, wall and flooring. Now for some reason this Halloween event is a bit different to what we used to as there's a variety of ways to get these items. Some items highlighted here can be crafted using the DIY recipes as well as purchased from Nook's Cranny in the seasonal section of the store. While others can be crafted using their DIY recipes or obtained directly from villagers or Jack himself as a gift. To get items as rewards from villagers or Jack you need to give them candy or lollipops on the 31st of October. So in short you can get DIY recipes for all of these items except the rug, wall and flooring but you can also earn or buy these items without learning the recipes, it's quite strange. Now the spooky rug, wall and flooring are obtained from villagers but aren't the only items that can't be crafted as you can also get Jack's head and Jack's robe from Jack. Jack's items can be worn to trick villagers into giving you their candy, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, we can also learn two additional reactions over Halloween including the scare reaction and the haunt reaction which again are learned by giving villagers or Jack candy respectively. So there's quite a lot to think about when trying to find all of these new items. The good news is the DIY recipes for the entire spooky set can be found anytime and aren't believed to be restricted to October so there's no rush to find them all as they're likely treated as normal recipes. To find these recipes all you have to do is speak with your villagers when they're crafting inside their houses just like you normally would. Just remember you have up to 3 villagers crafting in their houses on any given day each 3 hours apart from the moment you log in for that day so hopefully it won't take too long to find them all anyway. Now these spooky items all require orange pumpkins to craft however the other pumpkin colours do also have a use as they can be used to customise the items. So the yellow pumpkins can be used to make the spooky set yellow, 
the white pumpkins can be used to make the spooky set white, and of course the green pumpkins can be used to make the spooky set green, which will no doubt be the most desirable items given it's going to be harder to find green pumpkins. So yeah, as far as pumpkin crafting materials and spooky furniture items go, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Just remember, recipes for all the items excluding the rug, wall, flooring, jack's head and robe can be found eventually, but all the items can be earned or bought instead of crafting anyway, so it's probably not as confusing as it sounds. But what do you think about these items? Will you be customising them or do you prefer the original? And do you like that we can not only craft them, but buy them from Nooks? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment spooky. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include which pumpkin colour is your favourite, I'm guessing green, as well as which spooky item you like the most. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.